Just a girl in her van and a video cam. It's, it's Marley. Marley and me. Hey guys, today I'm going to be telling you 10 tips on how to stay in a Walmart parking lot overnight. So if you live out of your vehicle or if you're camping or whatever, I typically don't like to put in earbuds just because right when you put these in and you're blasting music, you are already like 50% more unaware of all of your surroundings. You're less likely to notice a sketchy situation because one of your senses is gone and now you can't hear. So as much as it's tempting, I would say don't put earbuds in, like pay attention to your surroundings. If you're trying to be stealthy about staying in a Walmart parking lot, don't be brushing your teeth in your front seat. Find somewhere else to get ready for bed and then come park in the Walmart parking lot just to sleep. That's a good tip. Write that one down. Tip number three. So some Walmarts are actually banning parking in their parking lots overnight, especially some of the ones in California and in spots in Colorado that are really beautiful and there are a lot of tourists. But if you can find a spot in the parking lot where there are RVs or vans that look like they're probably stealth vehicles, then you know that you're probably all right to stay there too. So that's the first thing I look for. I'm like, is there a section of this parking lot where there are already lots of people that are doing exactly what I'm doing and I head that direction? Which falls into my tip number- <laughs> Rude. It's that blue car over there. Oh, butt turd. <laughs> <laughs> Get a <off>, fan. <laughs> Which falls into my tip number four. Be aware that in some areas of California that don't particularly love that people are staying in their parking lots overnight, be aware that some of them make you buy something before you can use their restrooms. So some people that live in their vehicles go into a Walmart expecting to be able to always use the bathroom and don't realize that a lot of these places you have to have a key to get into the bathroom. You can only get the key if you have a receipt and you can only get the receipt if you buy something. So if you're really short on cash and you can't afford to buy something at that Walmart, then you're kind of out of luck for the whole night as far as like, going to the bathroom. So I would pick a different Walmart or find a different place to stay. Tip number five, if you have water bottles and things that you wanna fill up, this is the perfect opportunity to go into Walmart. Don't be like too sketchy. Don't bring in your huge gallon thing of water. But you can go into Walmart and they have these wonderful magical things called water fountains and you can refill up your waters, which is actually a huge blessing if you're on the road, like just to be able to fill up your water bottles, have some extra water just out there drinking fountain. So if you are worried about stealth camping and you don't want people to know that you're in your vehicle, the first thing that you shouldn't do is exit your vehicle through the door that shows you. So it's a little bit extra difficult for me because this has become an area where I store lots of extra stuff, which is probably just an organizational issue on my part. But I'm gonna get the climber mode, climb up here to the front. Now that I'm in front, I'm just gonna exit my vehicle like a normal person ready to shop at Walmart and no one can ever even know. Dude, Walmart's that way. <laughs> that way. <laughs> That's funny. Whenever I'm going to a Walmart, I'll usually look that Walmart up in Maps, and then once I go to Maps, I will have this option, Open Yelp. And then I'll go to my Yelp app, which is free, and I'll read some of the reviews on that Walmart. And the reason that I do this is just because sometimes those comments will have people saying this Walmart was super, super sketchy, like particularly in a bad part of town. We didn't feel comfortable walking out to our cars. And I'm like, okay, well, if people don't feel comfortable walking out to their cars at this Walmart, I really wouldn't like to sleep there for a night. So that's kind of how I base, oh, this is a good Walmart to stay at versus this one I might try to like only use if I really need to. So something that I've learned over the time that I've spent van lifing is that if you are in a Walmart parking lot, sometimes you're really close to things like McDonald's or other fast food restaurants or like bread co's and things. And if you park close enough to them, like in the corner of the parking lot next to the McDonald's, sometimes you can get their Wi-Fi. And that way I can have the whole night with internet, I can stream YouTube or whatever. So always look if there's businesses around Walmart that have Wi-Fi and also check if Walmart itself has Wi-Fi because every once in a while they will. So if you're staying in a Walmart overnight, I would suggest buying something just because it's a privilege that we get to stay in their parking lots overnight. That's something they don't have to do, but they do because they either realize an increase in business or they thought that it's something they could afford with extra parking lot space. So when I'm here, I try to at least buy something small, like this white cheddar popcorn or these cheese buffs or both. <laughs> and those are my top tips for staying in a Walmart parking lot. Subscribe!